Howdy folks, from Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua at the top of Wisconsin, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's gone around us at a big top I see there high above the ground, Valley Hoo. Oh, Valley Hoo. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. There's a million ways to have fun in Wisconsin and no reason not to. Visit TravelWisconsin.com and plan your trip today. And now, here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorous, singer-songwriter, and intermittent pig farmer, Michael Perry. Howdy, folks, and welcome to Tent Show Radio from Big Top Chautauqua. Our featured performers on today's show are a symphony of friends, specifically the Duluth Superior Symphony Orchestra, performing on their own, as well as in concert, in every sense, with our very own Blue Canvas Orchestra, an entirely different sort of orchestra. And right around the halfway point of the show, I'll tell a story about string cheese and the fun run. Folks, the music you're about to enjoy was recorded in a special space, in a special place. The Big Top Chautauqua stage stands square and true, way up toward the tippy top of America's dairy land, just two sips of coffee shy of Bayfield, Wisconsin. If you think, as I did for all those years I was dodging soggy Holstein tales, that Wisconsin is nothing but cheese and cows and cheese, well, I hope you'll wander up Bayfield Way and see for yourself some summer the deep green Apostle Islands and deep blue Lake Superior. Or sit on the deck and watch them leaves change. Or sit in the cabin with coffee while the snow blows. Whatever the season, it's beautiful in Bayfield. You ought to come on up. And once the sun goes down all summer long and into autumn, there's no experience like a live show at the one and only Big Top Chautauqua. Check the schedule and get your tickets at www.bigtop.org. And now, via beaming and streaming and theater of the mind, let's kick this special show loose with the Blue Canvas Orchestra and the instrumental Blackberry Blossom.
And now the gravitas half of our musical guests for this show. They are quite literally from just down the road or slightly around the bend or at least up the coast a bit. It's the Duluth Superior Symphony Orchestra performing George Friedrich Handel's water music suite number two in D major. Thank you. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, in a culture crunch, if not a culture clash, we bring our two orchestras together, one of conductor, one of canvas, and let the woodwinds fall where they may. To explain, I give you Blue Canvas Orchestra band leader, Ed Willett. Hey, we're going to do uh, a, a tune by Bruce Bowers. The next uh, tune is called Orcus, Orca in the Straw. He's such a funny man. Bruce couldn't be here playing tonight. He's got a gig, uh, a bunch of gigs. He's on the road. But um, this is a great piece that he wrote uh, just for us to play with the Duluth Superior Symphony Orchestra. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Yeah, Bruce.
Meet you down St. Clair Street, the one we used to know. Was a time, what a time, season 1892. Half the trade was Ashland, locking through the Sioux. The tonnage ship from here now docked this in your mind. Twice all other parts on the upper lake combined. Was a day, what a payday in this harbor. A forest, a mass along shore. The lake dollar full sail upbound on the great water highway superior. Iron Dock from the blast furnace west end on the hill. Boilers and parts for the mines and the mills from the parish plant out at Parishville. Quarrymen, size and cut your brownstone. We're going out to Houghton Point the load. The stone all piled up at Ashland. Mr. Prentice says it's already sold. In a bygone day, the vagrant sailors fancy no bears be away. I will dance down the docks that once took the shore. We'll go before the captain and the mast once more. Bound for Old Bay City, they were still coming in. Have fun tonight there on the old east end. Oh, meet you down St. Clair Street, the one we used to know. Cork pine for Liverpool That's me there Hands on the pole My mates on the deck Of the Grimsby Come on down boys And hoist them in the hole That's me now Master on the Hilton Sailing for John Trader's company Outbound from Ashland for Chicago Three days On these freshwater seas Tell me, mate, how long before all this coal is all unloaded? The captain says we're due down below. Rice stock number two foreman, Mr. Miller, says 56 hours till you go. I can still hear the whistle talk, music of the Lake Trades Band. Miller men, ship to ship, ship to ship to shore, whistle. In a bygone day, a vagrant sailor's fancy now bears me away. I will dance down the docks that once stood the shore. We'll go before the captain and the mast once more. Bound for Old Bay City, we'll whistle coming in. Have a fun tonight there on the old East End. Oh, meet you down St. Clair Street, the one we used to know. Drink one down to the longshore town in the wake of the lake train in not long ago. Bound for old Ashland in a bygone day. Raven sailors fancy no bears be away. I will dance down the docks that once stood the shore. We'll go before the captain and the mast once more. Bound for old Bay City, where we're still coming in. Have fun tonight there on the old. Street, the one we used to know. 
You are listening to Tent Show Radio. The BCO and the DSSO, ladies and gentlemen, playing nice together and more to come in time. Listener, I've been rolling north to the big top for a long time now. I got more favorite memories than we got shows, but once per show, I share one. This time? This time I'm thinking about yard sale and garage sale signs. How many did you pass the last time you made the run up this way? And in passing, how many deals of a lifetime did you leave flat on some folding table? What if there's a Picasso sketch in there somewhere? Or a first edition copy of one of my books, which at this point would be worth 25 cents and a stick of gum, possibly already chewed. Honestly, what treasures are flashing past as we beat feet up this away? This is not a riddle. There is no answer. But hey, next trip, maybe you want to build in an extra hour or two and take your chances. Speaking of taking your chances, there is trouble ahead. Specifically, five kilometers ahead. Assuming I make it that far. My younger daughter has recently been participating in an after-school running program. The program culminates in a family fun run. The culminating part is quickly closing in. I've been in training for several months now, but the results have been disappointing in part perhaps because I haven't yet managed to get out for an actual run, fun or otherwise. Realizing last week that things had kind of snuck up on me, I embarked on a short-term last gasp Spartan fitness program that so far has included a renewed dedication to my treadmill desk, stern mirror talks, usually after dessert, Tupperware filled with chopped celery and other fat and soul-free nibble distractions, a sugar embargo, embargo being French for sieve, and really focusing on firing my glutes and calves when I climbed the eight grueling uphill steps to my office. I also bought a Bluetooth heart monitor to keep me from over-revving when I do finally take that run. Apparently simply wearing it during chair naps or while watching golf doesn't knock much off your lap time. Sadly and also, it tracks you back and forth to the refrigerator. There was a time I was relatively fleet of foot, but time is a trick mirror and does nothing for me now. Just ask my hairline. It is my understanding that this pending fun run is a 5K, which is a blithe way of saying short enough you can make it, long enough you won't look good doing so. The number 5 stands for 5, and K stands for kilometers, an imaginary unit of measurement, what is this, Canada, which taken in quintuplicate equals just over 3 miles. This distance is doable, but in no way is it fun. But the children. When I pick my daughter up after her sessions, she is invariably rosy-cheeked and happy, eagerly reporting her accumulated laps. She also gets string cheese after every practice. Come the big fun run day, I would like one of these, every K, if possible. People at tables, handing them out pre-peeled like miniature dairy-based relay batons. Commemorative t-shirts are nice, but string cheese is a miracle. Would it be so wrong to deep fry them and include a little plastic cup of dipping sauce? Is it wrong to dip string cheese in melted cheese? I am off track. I must bear down. Focus on achieving my goals, as we so often hear we must. Today, my treadmill desk said I logged 5.74 miles. And this was before noon. Mind you, that's at an average speed of 2.2 miles per hour, which puts me across the fun run finish line in just under an hour and a half central slugging time. I will need to augment my training base with some speed work. I will begin immediately with a lumbering wind sprint, proceeding at all speed and not letting up until I get to the kitchen where lunch awaits. But for now, let us not rush into anything but rather ease our way back into the music in a most cultured manner with the Duluth Superior Symphony Orchestra 
and their interpretation of Antonio Vivaldi's The Four Seasons Concerto No. 2 in G minor, Summer.
Lovely work from the Duluth Superior Symphony Orchestra. Oh, we have the arts, even way up here. The rest of our show is anchored by the Blue Canvas Orchestra, showing you why they've occupied this tent for all these years. And before it's all over, they'll be rejoined by their compatriots from the Duluth Superior Symphony Orchestra. Take it away, as you always do, BCO. Um, a lot of this coming to the Chautauqua, and I'm not saying this because I'm an arranger, but it is all about the arrangers. I don't know. <laughs> We're the lone arrangers, the lone arrangers. Yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 At least that's what Severin told me. Mm. <laughs> he said, you know, man, it's all about us. <laughs> anyway, it's our pleasure to arrange for this uh, talented and a big group. You know, it's not often that you get so many colors to choose from and and to know the people that you arrange for is really really good because it's not just perfunctory things like knowing their range it's knowing their character what do they bring to it what suits them you know so it's been a great um a great experience for myself and for Severin I I think Severin is that true okay good 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 <laughs> anyway here's an arrangement that um I stole from many people um <laughs> But uh, Copeland stole it from, uh, you know, Celtic music, so I figured it was already borrowed. So down and then some. <laughs> it's No, it isn't. It's 16 tons. tons. Yeah, yeah. Tennessee Ernie Ford was ripped off. <laughs> By Copeland. <laughs> okay, yeah. You know you want to... Some people say a man is made out of mud A poor man's made out of muzzle and blood Muzzle and blood and skin and bones A mind that's weak but a back that's strong You load 16 tons and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store mm -hmm. I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine I picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine I loaded 16 tons and I'm a nine core the straw boss says, well, bless my soul. That's right. 16 tons, and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, because I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. That store. If you see me coming, better step aside. A lot of men did, a lot of men died One fist of iron and the other is steel If the right one don't get you, then the left one will Sixteen tons, and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store I was born one morning, it was drizzled and rain Fighting and trouble on my middle name I was raising the cane, break my old mama life Ain't no hot tone woman, make me walk the line Sixteen tons, and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go I owe my soul to 
the company sixteen times. And what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me because I can't go. say about people who live up here you got to do a lot of jobs and uh, <laughs> I just that always reminds me of Phil earlier when I came up for rehearsal with the orchestra Phil was on top of the tent putting up flags I mean on top of the tent with a rope tied around him I don't know what that rope is supposed to do Phil but I was glad you didn't find out man it was, was supposed to pull him down if he got stuck <laughs> okay <laughs> we could find the body that way no I'm sorry <laughs> Not really. Testing our insurance, that's all. <laughs> okay, now there's a tune that I ripped off from Copeland, right? Oh, Am go. I right about that? Okay, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, Norman, he was a sensible man. Everybody knew it was so. He kept his lawn so nice and neat. No one ever thought he'd lose control. But then one night he came home to his wife, and she knew right away he was changed. He'd come under the spell of that furnace from hell. Now all he desired was to put out the fire. When it came with a flash, swim Lake Michigan. But you could hear the regret with his very first step. Oh, Jim, what a spine. What the hell, I must have lost my mind. Bad idea when I heard it first. I'm here to tell it's so much worse and it's all the blur. But I'm pretty sure I have been when I jumped in. It's just too late now, but I thought somehow my wife and I had kids. And we're getting to them this one bit more and more. I had to go. Somebody say, Jim. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. There's a million ways to have fun in Wisconsin and no reason not to. 
Visit TravelWisconsin.com and plan your trip today. And by the Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau of Bayfield, Wisconsin, Ferry Capital of Wisconsin, Gateway to the Apostle Islands of Lake Superior, Art Galleries and Studios, Orchards, Shopping and Lodging, online at bayfield.org. And by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior, downtown Bayfield. Proudly hosting Bayfield's visitors for nearly 100 years. Rooftop deck bar and events for all occasions, online at bayfieldinn.com. From the top of Wisconsin, Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua. Tent Show Radio is produced by Austin Hamilton, Michael Perry, Jamie Hansen, and yours truly, Philip Anich. Big Top Chautauqua's 2018 summer season so far includes John Hyatt and the Goners, featuring Sonny Landreth, Buddy Guy, and Keb Moe. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy who realizes he's 4K into a 5K and has enough cheese to last. We'd especially love it if you come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a live show. Details always available at bigtop.org. You can visit me anytime at sneezingcow.com. Until next we share the air, remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.